going on everybody as I think everybody in the entire world knows tomorrow is opening day of modern firearm season here in Kentucky and uh, it's been a while since I made a video so I wanted to do one about shooting deer and uh, figured once the hunting started it would go pretty quick so I needed to make some filler video um, but a little brief history about the farm. We don't have hardly any bucks on the property until they start to rut. And then once they rut, there's like this big monster that shows up and then he's only there for like two or three days and he's gone and he's only there at night. But uh, checked the cameras a while ago and uh, did a scent drag, found some scrapes and uh, small rub. But uh, Put a scent drag up to my stand kind of sweeten it up maybe hold some in and uh check the cameras while i was there and while i was checking the cameras i found that we only had pictures of bucks um nothing too crazy but still uh, it's looking like tomorrow should be an exciting morning and uh i'll throw some pictures up of the bucks we got and we've got a cold front that's coming in as well seen a lot of deer moving over the last few days it's supposed to have uh, I think it's gonna be in the upper 20s tomorrow so uh, should be a good morning well I mean we'll have to see once we get there so stand by all right guys I hope you enjoyed that intro of me walking to check the mail and talking on my camera and it's weird but it seemed like the thing to do anyways as promised here's a slideshow of uh, some of the better bucks that we've got on camera um, this one right here, I've got pictures of him on both cameras. I think he's the one that's, uh, putting these scrapes out. Um, and he's, he's hanging pretty close, so we'll see what happens, uh, tomorrow. Um, this next one here, this is the big one that I always talk about that's here at the middle of the night, a couple of days before season, and then he disappears to never be seen again. Um, uh, I think he's an 11 point, I mean, he's little older deer i mean he's not super old by any means but um be nice to run into him but probably not gonna happen and then here is the crazy looking dude that uh he's been on camera quite a bit i've had him on camera several days um and this is one i'd like to run into i mean he's he's not a monster by any means but uh i've never seen anything like this personally i mean on the internet you can see anything but uh, to have something like this as close to the house um, this is pretty neat so i'm really hoping to run into this one tomorrow uh, just can't can't tell i mean anything can happen they're running wide open and we're gonna have uh i've got people hunting a couple hundred yards north of me they've got a stand um and then maybe half a mile south of our farm there's uh several hunters that uh hunt a property there so um good cold weather they should be moving going to be a bunch of people in the woods so they should be moving um i've got a chance to see deer that i've haven't seen on camera so we'll just have to see what happens
All right, so what happens after this? Um, I want to record some stuff and uh, turn my GoPro on, hear it fire up, hit the record button, and it doesn't record. And uh, I assume it was because of, of the cold temperatures. My phone died, the GoPro died. Um, it would turn on and then it would record for about 10 seconds and then it would just shut down and it wouldn't save anything. So I'll come back here in just a second and let you, I'll explain it for myself. It's weird. It's like a fourth person <laughs> point of view. <laughs> All right. My phone's died. My camera's died. Um, I wasn't able to record the shot, but I've got a buck down. Take this guy. Oh my. He is a pretty, pretty buck. not a monster but he's a monster to me uh, this is the one that's pretty well been running the show here uh, he came out didn't get it on camera but uh hit him he was facing me with his head down uh hit him just on top of the neck kind of went down and he never heard the gun go off but uh lord has blessed me today but i can be quiet i'm still hunting for a doe